Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life and I have a meal plan and a grocery haul for you today that I'd like to share. And I already did go grocery shopping so I am doing this a little bit backwards. Um, I decided to print this out afterwards. My um, This is my real grocery list. This little printable that I like to use um, gets all messed up and I kind of want to be able to keep the meal plan all nice and neat so I can refer to it. So I decided to write this up afterwards and to show you and excuse the uh, color my printer ran out of ink. This is what um, it really looks like and I'll put um, the link to where you can print that out below from Green Child Magazine. They have some nice free printables there. So again I already went to Publix and um, this was my list and I did like a little meal plan. And we're going to have ribs and steak tonight and corn on the cob and salad. And I'm going to do um, chicken and rice um, spaghetti. I'm going to try this. I'm doing the gluten-free again this week. Um, it's working well for me. My husband, not so much. He's going to eat gluten sometimes. Um, but whatever. So I thought I would try to make a spaghetti substitute by using... Uh, hamburger and sausage over rice. I don't know how that's going to turn out. We'll see. And then uh, tacos on Tuesday. My husband likes to have tacos, but I'm going to have chicken fajitas with no um, burrito, just on top of, uh, I don't know, <laughs> chips probably, some gluten-free chips, and um, pork chops and mushroom rice. I already have the pork chops, so I didn't have to buy any. And veggies, and then I'm going to make lemon peppered um, chicken with the leftover mushroom rice and veggies and then hamburgers that I already have and corn on the cob and sweet potato fries that I already have and I was going to buy some salmon but it was ten dollars a pound and yeah I decided not and we'll probably eat out that day anyway if not I do have some more ribs I could and I think uh, pork chops or something there's there's always a little bit of extra of something in there that I could make for that day. So we'll just play that one by ear. And I just want to share a little something with you that I've been doing the last couple weeks. Instead of um, using a calculator, I just take this sheet of paper and as I um, put each item in my cart, I just tally it up myself. And the reason I wanted to share that with you that, I mean, yeah, I might think this is a little weird, but... Um, it's good to use your brain and not, you know, use your calculator all the time. And I don't know about you, but whenever I bring the calculator with me, I mess up somehow and I have, you know, push the wrong button and I have to start all over. So this just works better. And it's good to use your brain and, um, uh, you know, think mathematically sometimes and keep your mind going. And, you know, um, it's just good for you to use your brain. <laughs> and so I ended up... Uh, with 131.71 total, um, that's what I came up with, and it was pretty close. It was 132.83, and then I bought two um, gas cards, and they were only a $50 gas card for $40 each, and so I saved $20 there, and um, I saved 25.79 store coupon and 8.66. Um, price savings. I did have a two dollar coupon for um, Dinsani water, water and I did buy a newspaper with, and so I'm going to look at the coupons there and Publix allows you once you once you make your purchase you can go back with coupons that you may have forgotten and they will refund the money for that so I'm going to do that backwards too. And I think it's just easier for me to I'm not sure when I'm buying and there's no sense of printing out coupons for things I might not, I might or might not buy. So I think I just, after I purchase all of the groceries, I'll look and search for coupons for the things that I actually bought. I think that'll be easier for me. Although I am not real sure I'm going to find a lot because a lot of the stuff was uh, produce and meats and there wasn't a whole lot of things that I would have coupons for, but I'm going to try. And uh, let me show you my grocery haul. So this is a little flyer that you get at Publix. So it has Publix coupons in there. And I already 
cut out the coupon that I had for the Dinsani water, but um, it does have quite a few uh, good coupons in there. Um, but I didn't purchase anything uh, else that had coupon, but there is a really good coupon for $2 off of the Stonyfield uh, yogurt. I like that yogurt. It's a really good brand yogurt, but I bought that last week, so I have plenty because you had to buy uh, two of the yogurts in order to get the $2 off. So I have plenty for this week, so I'm not using that. And, um... Let's see what else they have. They, I mean, they have mayonnaise, but um, that's one thing. Good thing about going gluten free. I am eating way less san sandwiches, um, so I don't need mayonnaise anymore. I mean, I'm not eating any sandwiches, so I do not need mayonnaise anymore. Um, and, but that is a dollar off coupon, so that's a good uh, coupon. Let's see what else there might be in there that I don't really see anything else. Maybe the buy one get one free salad dressing, but I have plenty of salad dressing, so I didn't get that. And um, again, I'm going to look in the newspaper and see what, and online and see what other kind of coupons I can find that for the things that I bought this week. Okay, guys, so here's my grocery haul, and um, I did buy the Publix lettuce this week, so I think I saved a dollar on that than the Fresh Express. And I bought the um, chicken tenderloins. They were on sale. Um, those would be for my husband because that has breading on it. And I'm trying, still trying to do the gluten-free. And I bought cat food. And I bought some of this um, chocolate granola. And some Ghirardelli chocolates. Those are a treat. And uh, I bought two of the Bril Brilla. Barilla. <laughs> Sauces. They were buy one get one free, and some um, organic green wise garbanzo beans, and some mushrooms, and a cantaloupe that was on sale, and some onions. Those are staple. We probably go through a bag of onions every two weeks, and a green pepper, and some jalapenos, and zucchini, and yellow squash was on sale, and a cucumber, and tomatoes and some corn in the cob and some bananas and some strawberries and eggs I probably um doesn't have eggs every week or every other week and I did buy I did not buy any cheese sticks this week these were Cabot was on sale for um two for five so um I just have to make do figure out I'm going to make cheese sticks for snacks out of that. And I didn't buy any shredded cheese. I'm just going to shred this. For some reason, Cabot does not have, I like that brand, but it didn't have any regular cheddar cheese, which I need for to make tacos. So I'll just figure out and make do with that. That was cheaper than buying the shredded cheese this week. And I did buy two hamburgers, one for tacos, and I'm going to make um, spaghetti with the other and I do uh, I do like to buy the Green Wise uh, organic hamburger or I guess it's all natural without antibiotics and hormones and that's why I buy things like buy one get one free and um, so that I can spend the extra money I saved on things like organic meats and whatnot and so I bought the or uh, the Green Wise hot sausage and um, that's for the spaghetti, and that's enough for two. I will split that up and freeze the rest. And this is enough for two meals. Um, green wise chicken, and the chicken broth was buy one get one free. So I brought two of those, and I like to buy the green wise um, organic milk. And I bought the or uh, some orange juice because we're all out. And I bought some more cottage, uh, some cottage cheese this week, and um, the kind that doesn't have any kerrigan in it. And what else? And I bought three things of Dinsani. It was buy two get one free. I had a coupon. It was a Publix coupon, and they had gas cards. So I bought two gas cards, and they were. Um, you know, $10 off each, so a $50 
gas card for only $40. So I saved $20 there and I bought $100 and $30 worth of groceries and it says I saved $44. That probably includes the gas cards. So the $130 was not including the gas cards. And then I bought a newspaper and it has some coupons in there. Um, Publix does let you, um, I only use one coupon, the Ninsani coupon. So the Publix does let you, after you've bought your um, groceries, if you want to go back and turn in coupons that you forgot. So I'm going to look through there and see if there's any coupons. I might even go online and see if there's any coupons for what I bought, but probably not. There's not a whole lot. I mean, most of it is meats and fruits and vegetables, so I'm not really sure how much. So I'm pretty satisfied with... Um, my purchases this week and oh, 130. Um, I didn't buy any salmon, so that probably I saved like 20 bucks. The salmon was ten dollars a pound, so I decided not to buy it. And we're probably going to eat out once this week, so I won't need that meal. Um, so that's it for this grocery. So I thought I'd show you how I'm dividing up my meat. So I took the chicken breasts, I already cut those up, cut them in half, filleted them in half, so I have two smaller pieces for two meals and I'm going to divide up this sausage and cut this piece in half. So I have two and a half pieces and two and a half pieces so that'll make another uh, two meals. So I decided I'd show you some prep here. I'm going to cut up this zucchini and squash and put it in this mason jars. I like to store things in mason jars. They um, stay fresher a lot longer and I got my ribs and steak that we're having for dinner tonight out to saw. I'm going to start cutting this up. Okay, this is just a little bit of my fridge organization for the week. Again, I like to store things in the um, mason jars. They stay fresh or longer, so I have the jalapenos in there, and I already cut the zucchini and the squash for uh, one meal this week, um, and that's green peppers for heat is we're going to have and I was going to put one of these in the freezer and then um so that's why I separated them but we're going to have one tonight and I think we'll have the other for hamburgers and I do not put the mushrooms in the mason jar because they tend to get slimy so that will stay in there and I didn't have any mason jars left so um some of the strawberries are in here but I'm sure we'll eat those up and then the other ones are in the mason jar and I do put a paper towel at the bottom of this mason jar because the the um Strawberries tend to um, seep out water, and so that will just um, soak up the water so that they will stay fresher. And I do have the lettuce in here. I normally keep all of my salad fixings all in this drawer, the tomatoes and cucumbers. And um, when I cut up the cucumber, I do put it in, this mason, in a mason jar once it's cut. But um, I do not cut it up ahead of time because, yeah, they, they get slimy because it seeps water once you um, cut it. The water tends to start draining out of it. So, um, and I have carrots in here that I put in salad and um, red onion, which I forgot to buy it in running low on that. So, uh, yeah, and then this is my meat and um, cheese drawer, and I'm going to take the cheese right now and go ahead and shred this four tacos on Tuesday and um, might go ahead and cut these up and put it in a Ziploc baggie for um, to make cheese sticks with and I already um, here's a little bit of my fridge organization I went ahead and bought some bins at the Dollar Tree because my refrigerator my freezer was a mess and so this seems to stay more organized and I can put things in upright thick so I already put the hamburger in there um, that I bought and the, the, here's the chicken and the sausage that I'm going to use the sausage for spaghetti and chicken for another meal and I have lots of frozen vegetables I need to eat up this week that's why I didn't buy a lot of vegetables and um, these are you know, frozen chicken and sweet potatoes and that's just stuff to show you a little bit of my fridge organization. So I have my little um, KitchenAid mixer here and I have the cheese grater attachment and I'm just going to take the cheese and put it in here and grate it up.
Okay, the cheese is all shredded and put into a little baggie. Now, this is not something I normally do. It's just easier to buy the shredded cheese. But, the again, the cheese was on sale for $2.50. And I think a um, bag of shredded cheese was like $3.99. I know the cheese the cheese sticks are $3.99. So, I saved $1.50 um, here, here, and here. So, that's, uh, what is that? One, two, three, four... 50. You do the math. <laughs> so that's just, um, so guys, that's it for my grocery haul and my fridge organization. And I'm going to go ahead and finish putting away the rest of my groceries. I hope you all enjoy your day.